I've been playing Fortnite for a year and four months now on keyboard and mouse and I got tired of not having optimal keybinds. So I decided after watching Ken Bean's video about the GMK joystick that it was time for me to switch over. So we are going to talk about my one week transition into learning and struggling with the GMK joystick. Let's go ikimashou. Konnichiwa minasan and welcome to the channel. I'm your boy Marco and I'm here to help you improve on Fortnite. First off, we gotta shout out Ruby Plays for her amazing video on her keybinds for the GMK joystick, which helped me out a ton. If you guys are interested in my keybinds and settings, I will have a separate video on that later this week, breaking down and explaining to you all my thought process behind why I chose certain keybinds. So without further ado, let's jump into day one. So on day one, I started off playing Raiders Mechanics Training Map version two, and did a few piece control tunnels. All map codes in the video will be in the description down below. My edits weren't the best and I'm still getting used to my new keybinds but I kept pushing through. Main thing I was trying to do here is build muscle memory and to make sure to control my crosshair placements. Next, I jumped into free building and practiced my 90s. As you can see, my 90s were very sloppy and very choppy. Then I started to build randomly so that I can get used to pressing my floor key button. For some reason, I kept pressing my pickaxe button instead of my floor button, which was kind of annoying, but practice makes perfect, right? Day two. I wanted to try and practice building and shooting so I started playing the Tilted Zone Wars map. Also I forgot to mention I always warm up my aim on Kovacs before I jump into Fortnite for about 30 minutes. But back to the video. I saw Naruto walking up on me and was trying to box me up like a fish. So I got up inside of the box before that happened. I tried to go back and shoot him but he was gone. I saw someone hitting above me so I tried to get height and finish them up quickly before they got healthy. Got a heavy hit on them with my shotgun and tried to finish the job with another shot but I missed. That person got away so we move on to the next person. Now this guy didn't know where I was at all so I was able to catch him off guard with a quick shotgun shot. I ended up losing him and found someone else boxed up. He made an edit on me and got off a heavy shot. I was able to take the wall but accidentally jumped on the launch pad since I was backing up too much. I found another person boxed up so I tried to play smart and play patient by waiting for them to break my ramp so I can get a pre-fire on them. I got out the pre-fire but ended up dying from just sitting there. GG's on that. Okay, so next round I saw someone just across from my building and I decided to push that person. I was able to stop them from spraying me down at first and bat them up into a corner. I thought I had this fight in my hands until I got sprayed down by the charge SMG, of course, which was unfortunate, but we learned from this and move on. Now on to day three. I noticed that my edits were still sloppy, so I wanted to practice them and see how fast I can complete this FNCS edit course race. The whole takeaway from this is I needed to control my crosshair placements while under pressure of completing this edit course as fast as I could.
Not the fastest time in the world, but it's a start to the right path. Next, I do some Raiders 1v1 build fights and fight against the Marsha skin. She was pretty good, but she was working me on the first fight. But I make sure to get her back real good. I definitely need to work on my 1v1 start in free building. I was totally choking all my builds and placing them in the wrong place. This guy was constantly trying to get height on me and I was trying to stop him from going up. I eventually took Hype back from him and finished up the fight. Day 4. I wanted to practice my peace control so I loaded up Raider's peace control map and started to grind. The main takeaway from this map is to practice doing good peace control from behind cover, which I was barely even doing. Definitely need to work on that a lot more. If you can master peace control from behind cover, then you are one step closer to being a better Fortnite player. My favorite routine from this map is number 8. I love practicing sliding in a ramp through a wall. If you don't know how to do this trick, all you have to do is just have out your map, which is the ramp blueprint. Crouch, look to the left and up, and the ramp should phase through the wall. I advise you guys to practice both of these tricks. They are very useful to use in a real game situation. Now we're on to day 5. I wanted to practice more editing so I jumped into Flea's edit course map which is a great map for practicing simple edits. Key takeaway from this map is to practice crosshair placements and just take your time with it. There's no need to rush. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, so day six rolls around and I jumped into Panville's 200 pump map, which is one of my favorite maps to play. I wanted to put together everything that I've been working on for these past few days and practice lining up my headshots. I was totally getting worked here, but that's okay. It's all good practice. They're off there. 
Day 7. I just played zero bills with some friends and tried to see what I can do in a real game situation. We had some good games, but it was all fun and a great learning experience. Oh crap, I'm fried. Not! She's scratched, she's scratched. She's one shot. Oh my. Not! Obi-Wan! He's one shot! Got him! Let's go! There's, oh, there's three people. I'll surprise him. Uh -uh, I'm dead. He's one shot. Oh shit, boyfriend. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, nice. Nice. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh there's more motherfuckers! Not Kratz! Dead, let's go! Alright, boys and girls, here we up. go. It's your song. They want the smoke. They want the smoke and I want the smoke and they want the smoke and I want the smoke. This game is so dead. Dead. Oh shit, right here. Not. God damn. He healed you. Nice. Oh shit, somebody's above you. I knew there's people here. Ooh. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice. Fuck you, bluff. You beat fluffy motherfucker. Nice. Nice. Just one shot. <laughs> Freaking spicy meatball cross. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Spike him up. Shit, that guy's literally one shot up there. Oh, look, the fourth man's here. Look, he's pinching. See, these guys are so trash. He's just jumping like a bunny. Nice. That kid. Oh my gosh, he's about to take this whole team. Look at this guy jumping everywhere. Look at his ass. Let's go. Oh my, nice. oh my god. This is a beast. Fucking clutch. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked the video, please feel free to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to turn on the notifications so you can see when a new video drops. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about the video. Follow me on Twitch to see me live playing Fortnite. I'll catch you guys later. Sayonara.